My name is Aylin Moore. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Graduated from UT Martin in 2019 with a bachelor's degree of business interdisciplinary studies. Coach Simp and Coach Riscotti, the old receiver coach I had, my friend freshman year came to my game and watched me play. They they offered me a visit. It was like in January, so and I loved like the facility, the atmosphere, the coaches, the players. It was like a brotherhood. It really sold me. Like I, I love UT Martin. Man, it's, it was it was very different, but it helped me to get focused though, cause like it's not a lot of distractions, and it's strictly football. And this that's the goal is just strict play, like just focus on football. I learned a lot from the older guys, Kalen Weathers, Ben Aslan, Rod Rod Wright, and I got like pieces for them and put it in my game. And I also watched like a lot of NFL players and put it in my game. In so my freshman year, just focus on football. Football is not everything. You got to focus on your grades. Cause I came in thinking I was gonna start over everybody, and was, I was like, I forgot about my grades. But Coach Sun gave me another chance. I want to thank him for that. So it was just more. It was way more than just football. It's a football school. Another thing I say from the field, I probably say learn the concepts. Don't just learn your your position. Learn X, Y, and Z. Cause this is they're gonna ask you in the league. If you don't know your concepts, you ain't gonna be able to play the game. Just be humble, like take one step at a time. Your time gonna come. And when your number's called, just show up and make a play. Start gets Ole Miss. I wasn't focused on the weather. It was just like, dang, I'm in this big atmosphere. Our eyes are really on you. But if you make a play, you can be on ESPN. So that was my that was my goal the whole week. Just put somebody on ESPN. And like I did, actually I did it. Like like the last play of the game. Like the last drive of the game, Cal threw me the ball down the sideline, and I lost this dude. And I looked on ESPN, and I was on there. It was crazy. And my junior year was my biggest year. I had like 800 yards and eight touchdowns. My biggest game, I'd probably say TSU. I had two touchdowns and 181 yards. I enjoyed every bit of being on the sideline with my, my teammates, and they lift me up to tell me keep going because you gotta, you can make it to the next level. Me hearing that was like made me strive every day hard and continue to work on my plan A. Let's make it to the league. Plan A was to be a full officer. Plan B was to make sure plan A worked. So plan C was to be a police officer. Because I had two brothers, they both police officers in Memphis, and they did a great job. I was in Martin working out, just training every day. And when the draft came around, I tuned in around the fifth through the seventh round. I still didn't get, I still didn't get no call. Around the seventh round, I got a call, and it was like, you gonna be a Raven? I was like, ain't no doubt. So I got that call, and now I'm a Raven. <laughs> who was the first person when you got the phone call? Who was the first person you hung up the phone and called? My dad, my dad. I called him. He was like, oh, I'm gonna call you right back. I'm doing I said, no, nah, that's important. He was like, what is it? He was like, I said, I'm a Raven. He was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me take you off speaker. He said, you a what? I said, I'm a Raven, and he was like, he just went crazy. Uh, I'm going to show them, like, from Memphis and uh, UT Martin Scott, I play football. And I'm always play fast. I'm always play physical and stay healthy for the main part.